Today, Murphy's AI takes you under its digital wing and shows you how to install Comfy UI. Important, read the disclaimer located in the video description. Ah, uh, you gotta download the software first. The download link is down there in the video description. Click on Installing Comfy UI. Here you'll find the direct download link. Without a powerful computer and a good graphics card, it will be difficult. If you don't intend to deal with it and invest time, it might be better not to. Personally, I have 32GB of RAM and an NVIDIA graphics card with 8GB of VRAM. Select a folder on a drive with sufficient space. I recommend at least 100 gigabytes, even though 20 gigabytes is more than enough for the basic installation. Now, unzip the zip folder. I'm using 7-zip for this. The first step is complete, hooray! Now, let's bring Comfy to the stage for the first time. Get ready for some magic. And now? Ah, here it says low default. I'll press it now. Ah, now, push the button, Q prompt, at least I think so. What the hell, darn it. I haven't loaded a model yet. We'll definitely install the Comfy UI Manager as well. This makes everything a bit more easy. Lieutenant Dr. Data is truly a genius, it's impressive what he has put together for us. If you don't have Git installed on your computer yet, you will need to install it. I'll show you this briefly, but you need to adapt it to your system. I recommend reading the description on the Git page and selecting the one that suits you. Now, back to LT Doctor Data. Attention, don't forget to close your Comfy UI, especially its associated console, before proceeding. Now we can use Git Clone. Here is a description of how it works. I'll show you one so you can easily follow along if it's still unfamiliar to you. The easiest way is to navigate to the correct directory using File Explorer. Navigate from the installation directory to Comfy UI. After that, navigate to Custom Nodes. Now, open a CMD window here. Pay close attention, especially if this is new to you. Don't want you getting lost in the depths of technology. Type CMD and press Enter. Clone the manager. Copy this line from Dr. Data's download page. Paste it into your CMD window and press enter. Let's reboot Comfy UI and see what unfolds.
Hallelujah, done. The necessary files are downloading automatically now, just like a leisurely cup of coffee in the morning. Well, look who's here, the manager, ready to rock the stage. Here, you can download all sorts of custom nodes, but we'll dive into that in a later video. Let's download our first model. We're looking for a checkpoint for version 1.5. Let's take the standard model. Later, I'll show you where you can download versions trained by the community. This will take a while. That's why I'm cutting the video here. Now, a quick refresh, and we're off with the first image. Cue prompt, and fire away, here we go. Wow, am I good? That was so smooth. Even the computer took a moment to applaud. Now, let's see what my brilliant algorithms can conjure up next. Speechless, I'm just unbeatable. Oh, and at the top, we put everything that should be there. And at the bottom, we add everything to make sure it doesn't end up in the picture. Easy peasy, right? over to the promise download page for models. You'll find Murphy's gigantic workflows there, and I'll unravel those mysteries at some point later, not today, but I promise it'll be an explosion of explanations. Go to the models, select your filter, search for version 1.5, select your time period, and off you go. Attention, now we need space, data approaching. Now copy the model to the correct folder. Come to UI, Models, Checkpoints. Quickly load the new model, and don't forget to refresh. I just borrowed the prompt from Murphy, after all, he's constantly borrowing my brilliant ideas too. Tweak the settings a bit more, and then let's see what genius creations unfold.
So, folks, that's it for today. Time permitting, I'll be making a video soon explaining everything, how to install additional nodes and what to look out for to create incredibly awesome images with the SDXL workflows from Murphy from Langa. This video is available in German and English. Please write in the comments in which language I should create the future videos.